Hello guys, what's up? My name is Rohanjan Pakyavoy and welcome to another Pokemon Showdown video because, you know, I, li I like Pokemon and you know the deal. I like Pokemon content but can't really do Let's Plays or um, Wi-Fi battles on this chat on with this technology I have. But anyways, um, welcome to another Pokemon Showdown video where we are going to be finishing our week of Pokemon random battles and if you guys want to um my shout out name will be in the description below or in you as you can see the top right corner of your screen you can challenge me I have teams from Ubers to PU and you can challenge me whenever I'm on showdown whenever you guys want but with that being said um before we start the video up with a random battle I kind of wanted to say something that I can only show off of my showdown video because it has to do with the internet and um, a link and really a real big controversy that has gone off in not in the Pokemon community but the League community for those of you who don't know I am also an avid player of League of Legends but recently just today my friend has shown me a link to this website which I will click here as you can see um, ride points dot giveaway um, slash or hyphen give a ride points dot give hyphen aways dot net and when you click on this um when you click on this when you go to this link or if you google it it takes you to this link where as you can see it says League of Legends you don't need to spend a single buck on League of Legends we are giving away ride points and then it shows you this screen with the riot point cards. You can buy 10, well not anymore, but you could have bought a 10, 25, or 50 dollar riot point gift card. But you need these points here that you get by, as you can see down here, sharing the link in this gray box provided below with your friends or other players. And then when they click on the link, you get a point. And then when you get enough points, points you can exchange it for a riot point gift card now like i said a lot of controversy has been going off of from this website if it's if it's truly affiliated with riot if it's a legitimate site if it will give you viruses so i've so first off i sent the link to everyone on my here wait i'm gonna just delete this real fast i'm gonna delete my gonna get our league real fast I was playing league before but anyways um like I said before I have sent the link out to multiple friends every friend who is on my list at the time with whether online or offline I send the link to every one of those people I got responses back some people clicked on it they got this screen some people didn't get some people didn't get to the screen and then everyone Everyone did check it out beforehand, check if it was legitimate or not. Some people found it legitimate, some people found it didn't. Some people got to this screen, like I said, some people didn't. Some people looked into the source coding of it. Some people looked at the source coding of it. And that and those people said that this is not affiliated with Riot, the company who makes League of Legends, and said that and said that and then I went on Google myself I went to a forum and I looked through all of the um, postings in the forum about this website who were confused whether it was affiliate um, authentic or not they said um, this some people said that there was a virus encoded in the bottom somewhere over here or some like somewhere there was a virus encoded or something and that it's a scam, it's not true, right? Wouldn't do giveaways, but I I don't know. Some people also prove the point that their points were weren't going up when they sent the link. I've sent the link to four people. Four people clicked on the link. I have four points. So for me, my points went up. So I don't know, but if anything, I will leave, I will leave the link in the description below of all the videos I will be recording and posting on YouTube today. You can click it if you want, just just to know that 
if it is a virus or not, whatever's, if you want to see for yourself, I'm just telling you, it's your choice whether you want to click on it. If this isn't a legitimate, if this is, if this is a legitimate site and you are actually giving, getting free RP from Riot, then I would appreciate it if you clicked on the link so I would get points so I can buy these RP cards. If it's not a virus, if it does give you computer virus, not if it gives you a virus because it's really hard to determine what gives you a virus, especially with technology and computers. But if it doesn't bring you to the screen, then just like don't, or if it gives you like a pop-up thing, I guess, if you don't have any malware protection, whatever, saying if you want to click on it or not, then don't click on it. It's up to you. It's your choice whether you want to click on it or not. And that's all I wanted to say. Um, if you guys, whatever you guys want to do, the link will be in the description below. Click at your own risk, I guess. I guess. But at the end of the day, it is ultimately your choice whether you click on it. So please, just if anything happens, I'm sorry. It might not be the website's fault. It may be the website's fault. But please don't blame me because you took the, you made the choice of clicking the link. Okay. So with that, with that being aside, I spent like I spent six minutes on that alone. Let's get into some random battles. That's what you guys really wanted to. Do. Really wanted to see from these videos, random battles. So we have a Butterfree, ooh, Butterfree. And we have a Ditto Imposter, Ditto Imposter, yeah. So, okay, so I have a Giratina, a Victini, a Slacking, an Infernape, and a Bishop. And this Butterfree has a Focus Ash. I don't really want to break the Focus Ash just yet. So I'm going to switch it to Gear. uh... This is neutral. This is. I'm gonna switch it to Inferni because it has Giga Drain and Bug Buzz, which won't do damage to me. So Inferni is put to sleep, which I'm okay with. But I'm pretty sure this thing is Choice Carved. If it's not, I'm gonna test it out right now. I'm gonna Fire Blast. Yeah, that thing is definitely Choice Carved. So we burned off one turn of sleep. Here is a Digger's Bee, probably gonna Earthquake. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna switch it to my Giratina Origin form. Yep, Earthquake. Not so. Now I can Will O Wisp. If I don't hit the Digger's B, I'm going to hit something else. Unless it's a fire type. And burn it and cripple it somehow. There's a Ditto. going to transform. I'm going to get the will o -Wiz off, which is nice. Because it will get it down more. So now, Ditto, this Ditto is probably going to Draco Meteor me. I don't really have anything that wants to take that. So as we've seen so far, we have, this person has a Diggers B and a Ditto. I showed off three of my Pokemon. I could live to a Draco because of the focus this year. I don't really know what else he had, but I'm gonna I'm gonna sacrifice my Victini here, or not because that Draco did nothing. But I was gonna I was willing to sack out my Victini here because I have Infernape for fire coverage, and oh, it's a Soul Fested. Nice, that's awesome. So right now if it wants to Shadow Ball me, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna predict it to Shadow Ball me and I'm gonna U-turn. If he switches out the Ditto, then I can see what the other Pokemon is. So we have a Regirock here. Ooh, a Regirock. So with Regirock here, I can, I can switch into Butterfree. And because he hasn't set up the Rock yet, I can get... Um, a quiver ends up and survive any rock type move he wants to do and then i can get a giga drain off there's stone edge um and my sash will pop and now you can go for giga drain there you go it doesn't do um it doesn't do it doesn't take it out but that's and that's the damage i needed so i can switch it to my slacking right here and since it's banded it'll be able to take it out with the earthquake see there we go so regirock is out of the way that was a big threat to my team because i had Two, I had three physical wall, three physical attackers, and I had Victini who was weak to um, weak to rock type attacks. So that was really awesome for me. So here we have Diggers B going for the agility. I think in Choice Band Earthquake would still take you out. Uh, Swords Dance, ooh, eighty percent. 
Okay, so this thing obviously is gonna irk. Uh, Giratina counters Digger's B, doesn't it? Because it means to earthquake, it means to return here. And now I can just go for earthquake myself. Switch it out into Ditto. Ooh, I should have earthquake right there. That was my bad. So switch it out to Ditto right here. Yeah, I should have. I should have shadow. I should have Draco. What were they thinking? So think, since this thing is just gonna drink, ah, uh, this thing might shadow ball. Uh, I really need this Giratina for the Diggersby. Again, I don't really need this Victini. So I'm gonna switch it to Victini if he's, if yeah, shadow ball there. That's gonna do a large chunk to me, but I'm okay with sacking out this Victini right here because it does get burn damage off. And we know this thing has EQ, but since it's choice, I can switch it to my slacking here. And I can go for a pursuit. Because it's gonna switch out. If it does switch out, then pursuit will knock it out. For those of you who don't know, when you use pursuit and a Pokemon switches out, the pursuit still goes off and deals damage. So that's what I was thinking of. So here comes Diggersby. So now I can just switch back into Giratina again because its moveset. As we can see right here is Earthquake, Agility, Sword Dance, and Return. So it cannot touch my Giratina at all. So either it's going to stay in here and get Will-O-Wisp. Or what, it's, what he's probably going to do is switch out. Okay, so we have a Pachi Risu and an Air Balloon. So again, for those of you who don't know, Air Balloon means that I can't hit it with dark, uh, ground type moves. So I'm going to Shadow Ball right now. Hopefully get rid of the um, Air Balloon. Ooh, we do see a Nuzzle and the Paralysis. Ah, oh, man, I guarantee Paralysis is really good sometimes. Um, so, he thought that even though Super Fang wasn't, doesn't cause, like, actual, like, damage damage, like, any of my offensive moves, like, he thought that Super Fang still affects Ghost types, which it doesn't, for those of you who don't know. Doesn't for... It doesn't for those of you who don't know. So switch it on to Diggersby. I can just go for Draco right now. Why would what? What? Oh, there's a screen. And there's the forfeit. Like why would why would you switch in a Hydreigon on a Giratina who you know has Draco from your Ditto? I I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. But that was a pretty sure battle. Oh my gosh, this is the worst matchup ever. So we have a Mighty Anna, we have a Kabutops. Can you can you guys see what's on Oh you can see what's on the bottom of my screen, okay. So I don't have to explain it. I don't know. I don't I, I didn't know if you guys could see what's on the bottom of my screen, but now I know. So we have a Hariyama right here. Um uh, Huh. Probably gonna fake out, so I'm gonna switch to Lugia. If it does knock off, which it does right there, I'm just gonna lose leftovers. Which sucks in a sense, but now that I don't have any item, I don't have an item, I can just, I can just go for Roost, uh, Arrow Blast to try and see how much damage does this Hariyama. Okay, so let's knock off. Getting the legendaries, man. I, I kind of feel bad when I get legendaries because legendaries are so good. Especially in random battles where they have unbelievable amount of stats that... It's kind of hard to contest against them. Like, sure, they're a Pokemon, and sure, they are weaknesses, but still, it's like, like, they do, like, somewhat amount of damage. So here is a Gyarados. We have a Gyarados here. Am I, I'm definitely not fast. Oh, I am faster. Okay, I'm gonna Roost here. I think it's just an Ice Fang. Okay, just, okay. Okay, gonna gonna toxic you now since we're back up to multi scale. We'll take fifty percent reduced damage from what? Oh, you you cheeky you cheeky bugger! But I'm just gonna talk. I I should have dragon tailed actually. Now I think about it. But oh yes, the miss. But getting this toxic on it, like like even when Lugia faints, we'll make sure that Garrett, this girl, this trainer, this girl, cannot stick in with Gyarados. Oh, okay, so we see a bounce again. But she just racking up toxic damage, and then even if I take this bounce, I'm just gonna Dragon Tail the Gyarados out. See, I take 22%. That's not that bad. So I'm gonna Dragon Tail the Gyarados out. Going into Lunatone. Ooh. Uh, you can't really do anything. I think I will live a Stone Edge. I'm just gonna Toxic. 
Okay, so there's a Toxic too. So we, I have two Pokemon Toxic, Lugia's Toxic as well. And right now, I can switch into my Kabutops here. Because again, Lunatone can't do anything to it. Like, it can Psychic, I guess. I mean, but it's not like the strongest of Pokemon. It might have Earth Power too, which might have been a mistake. But I'm pretty sure a Kabutops can live an Earth Power from Lunatone. But yeah, there's an Ancient Power. So, so Lunatone, so Gyarados and Lunatone have leftovers. Right now, I'm going to go for the Waterfall because it's Stab. I have a chance to flinch. It's super effective. Like, you get the deal. It does a lot of damage. And it one-shots, too, so that's awesome. Oh, am I Life Orb? Oh, I'm Life Orb. Oh, that's good. That's really good to know. I'm Life Orb. Okay, so here we have Venusaur. So, our main Pokemon to get rid of Venusaur is Lugia. But since it's going to go for a Grass-type move, I'm going to switch to my Superior here. Yeah, and I'm gonna resist that. I'm gonna take that. Nice. Hopefully, Venusaur doesn't have a poison type move, but if it doesn't, I'm just gonna see how much a hidden power fire does, even though it is resisted. Okay, it does 11. That's that's pitiful. So it does have Sludge Bomb. My superior is almost dead. So now I kinda need to sack off superior. Yeah, I, kinda, I need to sack off superior. I'm gonna hidden power, get as much damage off. Venus is going to take a large chunk of it back. And now I have to switch to Lugia right now. And I have the Arrow Blast it. Because Arrow Blast is the only super effective move I have on my team. And three of my Pokemon are weak to a Venusaur. Which is really bad. And hopefully this Venusaur doesn't have Synthesis. Or else, oh my gosh, that's going to be a pain. It's going to be a pain. So we see that she's thinking here. I'm saying she because of the trainer avatar. Um, man, man. There's no way she's going to switch out into the two Pokemon that we already seen. But Aerobus does do a nice chunk of damage. And with another Aerobus, we'll be able to kill. I'm just afraid of it missing. But we need to do it. We need, we need to get rid of this Venusaur. Even though I probably will go to a second... Even though my Lugia will probably go down to a second turn of Toxic. I needed to hopefully get the Aero Blast off. But here we have Hariyama. Probably, uh, I'm going to Roost here just to get my health back up. Because I think she's just going to knock off right now. Yeah, knock off. Still does a lot of damage. Hopefully I won't go, okay, I won't go down this turn. Um, so I'm going to Aero Blast. Because Venusaur is at a low enough health that I'm pretty sure a stab a stab crunch from my Diana would take it out but I'm gonna go with Doug Trio right now goes out to Venusaur yeah that's what I thought are you Sash no you're leftovers I'm gonna see if an earthquake can take it out because it's a neutral and stab okay so earthquake does take it out so that's really good that's super good it's super good that Earthquake takes it out. Here comes Gyarados. Um, I don't really need the trio, even though I don't know what these two Pokemon are. So I really, I really want to set up Stealth Rocks. Yeah, let's set up Stealth Rocks. So that's Dragon Dance. So it's Dragon Dancing up. Maybe it's only offensive move is Bounce. I don't know, but I'm gonna substitute here. Okay, so it did go for the Waterfall. I sh I could have Sucker Punch there. So we see that's Moxie too. Uh, yeah, I think I just misplayed hard. Oh no, Rotom Choice Scarf. Okay, so Rotom Choice Scarf. So we can just go for the Thunderbolt here. And we'll be able to kill the Gyarados. She might switch out thinking that Rotom's probably Scarf since I sent it in like this. But even so, I think it might live a... I think it might live a Waterfall. But anyways, Levani comes in. Um, I guess we should do Mighty Hand. Ah, oh, that was really... I know I can cancel, but I don't really like canceling in Showdown. I really want to think of it as, like, a Wi-Fi battle. So here we have Mighty Anna. Oh, thank goodness. Set to the Sticky Web. So, I'm pretty sure I'm fast. I'm not faster. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna... <sighs> this thing really has a bug type move. I'm gonna Fire Fang, hopefully not getting taken out by Le Levani. 
Okay, so I don't get taken out by Lee Vanny. I missed the Fire Fang. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, so I gotta just Sucker Punch right here. Because, obviously, she's just gonna exit her. Man, Fire Fang missed. That's really unfortunate. And now, this Lee Vanny outspeeds everything. Except for the Rotom here. So I guess I have to just hit Empower Ice. I love that this Rotom is kind of similar to my Rotom, where I choice graph it. Wow, that does take it out. And the hand the crit, of course. So hidden power will take out Levani. We still don't know what the last Pokemon is, so hopefully it's something that Kabutops can beat. But right now, she can. Oh, muck. Okay. So I need his Rotom for the Gyarados. Yeah, I gotta switch it to Kabutops here. Gets a gun shot off. I do resist it, but gets the poison, which sucks. And because of the sticky webs, I'm pretty sure he outspeeds right now. I'm gonna waterfall to see it. But it's either gonna shadow sneak, it's gonna outspeed, or okay, Gyarados switches in. It should die to the. N oh, wait, no. Okay, so Kabutas goes down. So right now, I have to lock myself into Thunderbolt because it's super effective with Gyarados, it's 100%. And it's Stab, and it's the strongest move I have besides Hydro Pump, which I'm too afraid of missing at the moment. So I don't think a Thunderbolt would even KO at this range. But hopefully we can live a Gunshot, or hopefully it misses it. Yeah, that's a 3 a KO, and that's a 1-shot, okay. So that's a 1-shot at this range, um, GG. GG, I totally misplayed that. I should've, um, should've either Sucker Punched or subbed that. The first time, but here we have oh, we have a Rotom Heat this time, and there's Thunderous. Thunderous, what could Thunderous can't really do anything against me as a Rotom Heat? I'm afraid of it having Hidden Power Grass to beat the Quagsire. But I'm just gonna hit Power Ice. So we see that they have a Wigglytuff, Wigglytuff, huh? Interesting. Hey, we have a Wigglytuff too. Huh, why send this in though? Interesting. Um. I mean, honestly, I'm just gonna switch into my Credilly. Because I have no idea what this really tough one Oh, Stealth Rocks. Is it the exact same set as mine? Okay, so if it's the exact same set as mine, then Stealth Rock, Protect, Fire Blast, and Dazzle Gleam. So I'm just gonna curse right now because I predict either the Fire Blast or the Protect. If it protects, then I get a curse up. If it Fire Blast is, I'm gonna be taking a lot of damage, but like I should be able to take one and live at like a relatively like good amount of HP. This is a real big risk, but with these Stealth Rocks up, my Rotom Heat's gonna take a lot of damage on switching. So we do see Torterra coming in. So I have a Curse up. Does Grass resist Rock? Does Ground resist Rock? I don't know. I'm gonna try and go for a Rock Slide, see how much damage it does. Torterra probably has Earthquake, or, she, or he just switched it in for... Okay. Yeah, so rock, rock is just the ground. So he probably just switched it in for that reason. So it's probably gonna wood hammer again. I really don't have anything to take this. I'm just gonna toxic it, make it take more damage. On all honesty, I should have seed bombed it because it's neutral, just like the wood hammer is. So do I really want to save this thing at this point? Wood hammer does forty percent. No. No, it's just gonna wood hammer. My credibility's gonna go down, but the Torterra should go down from the recoil, the life orb, and the toxic. Okay, it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't. I have nothing with priority. 137. The only thing that outspeeds this thing is a Rotom. It seems like it only has wood hammer though. So, I, so I'm gonna go to Trevenant right now. You probably have Citrus, right? Is that? No, you have that. Okay, so I'm gonna sub right now since Torterra goes first. So either he's gonna switch it out for Death Potter, he's gonna deal damage with it, 
just so my Trevenant gets as low as possible, or he's, or he's, I, that's literally the only two options I get to see out of this. Or it just does nothing, like it just leeches me for no apparent reason. But I'm gonna get a sub up for whatever Pokemon comes out next. So there's whatever, yeah, that does a lot of damage. But I will be able to get a sub up, surviving with 4%. And whatever Pokemon comes in now, hopefully I'll be able to do a lot of damage too. If it's the Thunderous, okay, it's the Wigglytuff. So right now, it has Fire Blast. That doesn't be invisible to me. I'm gonna the horn leech right here to get to heal myself and get damage off. So there's the fire blast. It's gonna break myself. So the next so the fire blast should kill me. I don't know what his last few Pokemon is, so our I'm gonna horn leech just to get damage off. And fire blast does kill with the crit. I don't know if that matters. Um, I'm going to calculate after this game to see out, to find out, but I'm going to switch it to my aromatease right now. Um, I'm going to just Moonblast to get damage off of whatever switches in or on the Wigglytuff. Hmm. Don't know what the last two Pokemon is. He doesn't know what my last two Pokemon are. Thunderous is health. Thunder says 100% if I remember. Yeah, Thunder says at 100%. And Wigglytuff at Hyper. Oh, yeah, Hyper Ways is normal. Yeah, so just gonna get damage off on my Roma T. He's gonna die to my Moonblast. Um, hopefully, it's not. Oh, gosh, it's an Aerodactyl. Oh, gosh. Reflect. Okay, I'm gonna protect so I can get more HP back with my leftovers. Oh my gosh, Mega Aerodactyl, are you serious? Come on, I'm gonna go for another Stone Edge. That's two of the eight Stone Edges. Hopefully, I can live. I'm gonna. I don't really need to wish. I'm gonna just Moonblast. Yes, Stone Edge, miss. Yes. Yeah, it's gonna get some damage off with that Moon Blast, which is awesome. Gonna keep using Moon Blast. Goes for the Roost. So I'm gonna get back HP ever so slowly. Um, Aerodactyl's gonna defog my Reflect away, which kinda sucks. But if, if it doesn't Roost this turn, um, I'm gonna switch into my Quagsire here. And I'm gonna just scald it. Sure, I can roost right now, but that's just a chance of me getting the burn off of the Mega Aerodactyl. And once this thing gets burned, it's not a threat at all. Um, we still don't know what the last two Pokemon are. There's a Stone Edge. I resist it, I'm Ground type. And Aerodactyl is gonna go down to my Scald, which is nice. My Rotom doesn't have to worry about a Mega Aerodactyl anymore. So here we have Thunder is telling me that this thing has hidden power grass. So I'm gonna go to my Rotom. Nasty, okay, so that thing just nasty fought on me. Nasty fought on me. I'm gonna overheat. Focus Blast will one shot. Oh, it's Life Orb. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Um, I'm gonna switch to my Quagsire. He always has a chance to miss, so I'm just gonna Scald. Try to get damage off. Yeah, so there's a miss. I'm gonna Scald, get damage off. Hopefully, burn. No burn. Just gonna keep scalding, but Focus Blast seems to be his only way to kill my Quagsire. So that's three of eight. If I can get a crit on this call, that would be great. But no, he lands a Focus Blast finally, which is terrible because Wigglytuff comes in and dies to a plus two Thunderbolt. Yep. Okay, so did we do two or three battles? I don't know how long is the video. Okay, I, I kind of want to do one more battle because of that long. That long speech in the beginning. So let's do one more. So we have Blissey and Bufalon. Mm, you don't get scrappy, right? Yeah. And let's switch it to Gore, guys. Choice band. 
Earthquakes won't do anything because I resisted and I'm a gore guy, so it's a lot of HP. Gonna go for will o -Wiz here. Me and my monkey. Okay, me and my monkey. Gonna see that he has a Darmanitan. Oh gosh. Darmanitan. Uh, Flareon does not have flash fire. This is a regular Charizard with Flying Gem. Doesn't this thing like beat my entire team? This thing basically beats my entire team. Uh, I don't know how to beat it. Oh, my Charizard will to beat it if it's not Scarf. Oh my gosh, I gotta switch to Flareon. Because I really don't want my. Okay, so just use turn. I didn't want my Charizard to take damage on it because I feel like Charizard's the only thing to beat the Darmanitan. Oh my gosh, there's like, for every one of these battles, there's like one Pokemon that just wrecks, wrecks house on my team. So Terra wrecked house on my last team, Venusaur wrecked house on the first battle, and the second battle, uh, the, I mean the second battle, the, and the, I mean opposite order, third and second. The first battle, uh, I kind of had the upper hand with Giratina. But do you have speed? You don't have speed, so I'm gonna just superpower. What? Wow. Okay. So a superpower from a Flareon did not take out a Buffalot. Okay, good to know. You have speed. Yeah, you definitely have speed. Uh, so it's a. It's Yeah, let's go into um, Heracross. I'm gonna Mega Evolve and go for. I'm gonna go for Close Combat. Just to make sure this Buffalon goes down. Because this Buffalon does a large amount of damage to my team. Goes on to Darmanitan, I thought so. You all speed it, definitely. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so I got a shout into. At this point, I gotta shout out to Charizard. Goes for the Flare Blitz. Well, oh my gosh, it does so much damage. But since I outspeed, I will be able to go for. And oh, should I go for another This is stab. I'm gonna go for Acrobatics. Because it's stab, it's flying gem boosted. Still doesn't take it out, so Darmanda will go down to the recoil. But so will my Charizard. Mm. I don't know what any of their other Pokemon is. I'm gonna go to Blissey. Oh man, I've I'm really out of battling. Oh my gosh, I've been making poor plays. Needle Queen, okay. I'm gonna side me toss here. Sets the rocks. Gosh, I have no I have no hazards on this team. What the heck? Let's just keep using side toss. Um I'm a Blissey, sir. I'm just gonna eat that toxic up for breakfast. You're probably sure forced. Just gonna take that. Just gonna whittle down your needle queen ever so slowly. All right, just just take just. All right, all right. I'm just gonna take down that needle queen with uh with my blissey. But here's a scrafty. Okay, you're kind of scary. You're really scary. I have to risk I have to risk it to switch into Gore guys because I don't want my Volcarona to take you 50% from rocks. But thankfully he went for the drain punch. And now the dark type move. I'm gonna willow. Hopefully I can live a crunch or a foul play or whatever this craft he has. Oh but okay, goes for Dragon Ends, please land. Okay, burn lands. No lumber because we saw it has leftovers. And now we can lead seed it as well. Ice Punch won't do anything now that you're burned. Now I can lead seed you. Oh gosh, it has shed skin. Oh gosh. This ice punch is gonna hurt. So I should just I should just get damage off in the scrafty now. Because yeah, it's just gonna drag that out.
and hopefully I'll be able to widow down enough where Volcarona or Heracross can uh, Heracross can't live a drain punch, but hopefully Volcarona can live a hit, and I can um, and then I can hit it with um, a bug or a move to take out the Scrafty. But it seems like Scrafty is gonna go down to Leech. Oh my. Well then, well then, showdown. You just you just made a very deadly Scrafty set. You made a very deadly late game Scrafty set. Oops, sorry Tyler, I can't play. Sorry Tyler, should have tur turned off Steam notifications or something. But Scrafty getting the three turns of sleep like we thought, we'll be able to three hit KO Scrafty with the C bomb. Now we see a red eyes. I'm gonna lead see this. Could I speed him at this point? But I think I should be able to take it because red eyes doesn't have the um Red Ice is not the most offensive Pokemon, so I should be able to take this Ice Beam. Yup, that's what I thought. And I Well then. Well then, I didn't I didn't want to get a Willow off and do more residual damage to you if that's what you thought. We used to just switch it to our Blissey here. Eat that ice up for breakfast, dinner, dessert, lunch, whatever you wanted to. I, I will even eat up that focus box and I'm just gonna softball right up here. Gonna get the lychee, gonna get my leftover recovery, and just gonna spam the seismic toss that we all know and love on Blissey. A cast for you can't do anything to me. Literally, the wall of Blissey is in front of your face. You can't do anything to me. The literal wall of Blissey is in front of your face. You have no more physical attackers. You only have special attackers that aren't even that strong to begin with. And we have a Blissey here. Hurricane? Mmm. Mmm, confusion doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. Look at that 8% I took from hitting myself. Doesn't even matter. A thunder? Mmm. Eating it up for breakfast. The paralysis? The paralysis? It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. You know why? My confusion ended. And I sing. I ring the bell. I ring the literal bell to heal all of my status. And there's the four of it. GG. So with that, guys. I'm gonna be ending out the video here. Remember, if you would like to challenge me, my shoutout name is in the top right corner of your screen. I will also leave it in the description down below. And you can challenge me from anything from Ubers to PU. Also, guys, remember um, the League of Legends free giveaway link will be in the description down below as well. Click on it if you want to. If you don't want to, that's perfectly fine. But if it's Remember from my discussion before, if it's a legitimate site, I would appreciate if you if you clicked on it. And remember, guys, um, remember whatever happens, it was your choice. I did not force you to click on the link. You chose to click on the link yourself. So whatever happens, you can only blame yourself. But with that being said, guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, goodbye. Oops, forgot.